waving in there, not listening to me. Got something to say. You can say, us, don't let them pray. Us, we are your daughters. Let's keep it that way. The NHS should be all yours. Let's keep it yours. Your lives are what we. have an obligation, not just to our profession, to try and protect it from the damaging changes we face, but we have an obligation to our patients and we have an obligation to our health service to protect future generations from the damage that this contract will do. That is why we are still picketing. That is why we are signing petitions. That is why we are taking to the streets and taking industrial action. Like a lot of the junior doctors here, Tuesday afternoon was a difficult time knowing that I was going to be off work for two full days. As colleagues here are looking after our patients, I know they'll be safe, but I didn't become a doctor to do this. As many politicians as want to can say that they love the NHS, but it's us who love and know the NHS. And I believe that by continuing with this fight, with this strike, eventually we are going to see the changes that we want. If this contract goes through, following what the government have put out on their um, calculator, we'll get a 31% pay rise. So you'd think that is something that I'd be quite happy with, but I'm not. I don't want that. It's the wrong money's going to the wrong place. They want the seven day NHS, none of it makes sense. It's made me really, really angry. What I want is a proper discussion with them. I want proper funding for the whole NHS in total. I want a fully funded, fully paid five day service. I'm an A&E trainee. I don't want to turn up and be a consultant or five or six years time and have no other doctors working with me. That's what this contract's gonna do and that's what's gonna make happen. The changes that this contract will bring will turn a national recruitment crisis into a national disaster. We have a government that is mishandling our NHS and a Secretary of State that is essentially steering us into an iceberg and he is ignoring the 98% of medical staff that have been telling him that this is an error. He is ignoring all of the Royal Colleges from across those different specialities. He is ignoring their own patient safety champion, Don Berwick, who said he shouldn't be imposing, he should be apologising to junior doctors and to patients. And the Patients Association, who have come out and said that this is unbelievably ridiculous. As a man who's got a very amazing wife, who's also a doctor, I am infuriated by what's happened recently with the um, disadvantages to women that have been said with the equality assessment. I found a lovely quote from David Cameron about a year ago in The Telegraph saying, you can't have true opportunity without equality. There is no place for a pay gap in today's society and we're delivering on our promises to address that. I mean, that sounds very, very different to kind of what's been happening in the last week with us. No hits, no buts, no junior doctor cuts. No hits, no buts, no junior doctor cuts. No hits, no buts, no junior doctor cuts. NHS workers are absolutely 100% behind the doctor's dispute and dis behind your fight. We know that what's happening to you is coming to us. It's coming to all of us. Privatisation and tendering and contracts are right at the heart of the NHS. And this is what this Health and Social Care Act has done. Every part of the NHS now is open to competition and this is what's wrecking the NHS. In general practice it's very difficult. People complain they can't get appointments and that is true and that is going to get worse. There's been chronic underfunding in general practice for years and it's getting a lot worse now. The government keeps cutting money, they cut it and give it to Surrey, they take it away from Hackney and other places like that and they give it to Jeremy Hunt's constituency and that's been happening all around the country. I think it's becoming increasingly obvious to a lot of people that if we all got together and gave them one good almighty push, this government would have to go. And we do not want to have to wait. We do not want to have to wait until 2020 for the chance to put Jeremy Corbyn in 10 Downing Street, because by 2020 there may well be no welfare state left. There may well be no NHS left. There may well be no state education left. 
we are in the fight of our lives and we have to talk about solidarity, about fighting, about supporting each other's demonstrations and about striking together. We will make sure that the Turkish and the Kurdish community is aware of the struggle of the junior doctors and also is aware of the struggle of the teachers and, and all the other public sectors in joining the forces with them in making sure that your struggle becomes our struggle and we fight together to bring down these stories. People recognise the power junior doctors have. People can see the advantage we hold and they can see the opportunity, the unique opportunity we have at this moment to make a real difference to the NHS for a generation. Let's show this government that we will defend the NHS. We will protect our patients and the public. Because we're doctors, because we care. Save our NHS!